Hey my YouTubers, this is your girl Windfire69 coming to you with another video. I hope everyone's having a fabulous uh, Friday afternoon. Um, I'm here today with a unboxing. Okay, so this is another birthday unboxing and I think this is going to be it. Um, yeah, this is going to be it for me with the birthday unboxing. Um, yeah, I think that this is going to be it. Um, I didn't really even spend that much money, honestly. Um, I think I'm going to buy something probably next month. Well, actually, I've ordered something, but I'm going to see if I actually get what I've ordered. We'll see. I've been waiting for, we'll say, about, we'll say, um, almost two months now. So I don't know if I'm going to get it, you know. Um, but anyway, let's get started. I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing to my channel. And please leave your comments at the comment section and give me a thumbs up. And press that bell, which will give you notification every time I come out with a video. Okay, so um, let me see. Okay, so in my last video, I had, um, was uh, just chatting with you guys, just letting you guys know that I'm kind of like on the fence with doing YouTube videos again. And you know what, let me clarify, or let me go in a little bit more detail why I feel the way I feel and um, why I'm kind of on the fence with continuing to do YouTube videos and then we'll get into what I have here. Okay, so I'm going to say probably like in uh, early November, uh, every time I was putting a video out, my video was being flagged um, by YouTube and like when I put it out like in a day um, and then I put the monetization on there, um, next thing you know, I would get like this, I would look back on my video and then it would disable the monetization and um, it would say your video content does not... Um, like does not uh, uh, like your video content was not appropriate, you know, for advertisers or something, something to that effect. I'm not too sure. I, I'm not. I know. I know it's in your video was content is not something with advertisers. So, um, please click to manually review the video. So every time I kept putting out a video, I kept getting this flag. I didn't say anything on YouTube about it because I said, maybe it's just me, you know, maybe, you know, or maybe they're doing it to everybody, you know. So that was like, but every video I kept getting flagged for it. So it was kind of like, what are they trying to do? My video has all my videos have always been consistent as far as what I'm talking about. The content is still what I've always been talking about. I haven't veered away with anything different, but just what I've been talking about, which is luxury items and things like that. So um, I was getting these flags here and there. So. Um, then I would have to, so when they disabled that, I wasn't generating revenue. So we're, we're going to say that because they disabled that. So when you're viewing the video, I'm not getting two cents or three cents or 10 cents or whatever the case may be. And I wasn't getting a lot of views anyway. Like you see, like how you have those big YouTube channels that get like within an hour, a thousand people done viewed the, you know, viewed the uh, video, which for me, I wasn't getting it like that. I was getting like probably a hundred people viewing 
or 150 viewing within like a day or two and things like that. But if they disable it, I'm not even getting anything. And it would take like about a day or two to, to for them to review my video and then lift that um, that restriction off, you know, or maybe a day, 24 hours or 48 hours or something like that. So that was very annoying to me because again, I've always been consistent with my channel. I have not veered off with anything different, you know? So that was really, you know, that's what was making. Now this has been like from November. Now we're in January. So December I was getting flagged, you know, every video. And then I wasn't putting out videos consistent because I kept getting flagged. Okay. Now I get the email stating partnership, this, that, whatever. They're going to disable because I don't have a thousand, a thousand subscribers and things like that. So that's what brings me to the fact that if YouTube is actually monitoring and limiting and deciding who gets paid to who don't get paid, then just because my video isn't bells and whistles and things like that, and it's nothing wrong with that. And I'm never hating on people trying to um, enhance their channel and things like that. I, I'm all for that. As you said, I don't have the time to, to do that, you know, but there's people that do do it and they do it well. But I'm a smaller channel. So since I'm a smaller channel, I'm not going to you know, and and again, I and I've looked at everybody's um, comments on my last video, and I thank you, thank you, thank everyone for your uh, consideration, your understanding. I know you guys want me to continue with the videos. I'm still on the fence with it. I got till February 18th to decide what I'm going to do, um, but um, and it's not about the money. And that's what I, and I just want to clarify that it's not really about the money. It's about the fact that, um, they're actually controlling what content and who gets paid and who doesn't get paid. That's what I'm trying to, you know, put out there, you know, or whatever. That's what I'm trying. I think that's totally unfair because you have to start from somewhere to build a clientele or to build your, you know, your channel. And if you and if you have these restrictions, how are you ever going to build your channel if they start to take away certain things that you feel you're entitled to because you did put the work in? So that's what I'm trying to come across and get across to everybody. If you understand where I'm coming from. So it's really not about the money. It's, I think it's really about, it's, it's partial. It's not even partially. That's just small 1% of what I'm trying to, to say, you know, cause what would be next? If they're doing all of this, what would be the next step they're going to try to do? So I'm saying, is it really, and I know I'm hearing everybody saying, Oh, continue, continue because you give us a lot of info and things like that. And I'm so grateful that you guys are actually commenting because, yeah, um, I get information from you guys too because you guys give me a whole bunch of comments and I and you got my wheels turning. You're making me think, you know what I'm saying? You're making me on my toes, you know, so I'm loving that. So it's not really about the video for me. It's about your comments because I read every comment because I answer every comment, and you guys know that. I answer everybody's comments. Okay, so that's that. So I just wanted to put that out there. I'm kind of like trying to rush now, because I'm already at almost 10 minutes, okay? So let us start off. Um, okay, so I already had Louis Vuitton perfume. You know, I already had that, and I already have them. I have the travel size things. So one night I was looking out there on eBay and I found the seller that was selling the 3.4 ounce sizes for a reasonable price. So what I did was I first bought the first one, which was uh, Millie Feek. I bought this one here. 
Let me show you guys here. And I must have, this must have came up to like 175. I think it could have been like 175. No, this was 165. This was 165. I got, um, she said that she got it and she didn't, you know, whatever. And I think, no, did she say she, no, this, she said it was brand new, but she didn't have the box to it. Okay. So I went and I purchased this from an eBay seller. You don't always have to go to Louis Vuitton to get perfume, to get anything. You can always go out on eBay and see who's selling it because not everybody likes the perfume. They might get it as a gift and then spray it two times and say, hey, I don't particularly care for this. Let me put it out on eBay and get a couple of dollars for it. And I'm pretty sure this is exactly what the seller did. So this is the Millie Fee and this is the 3.4 ounce, okay? So that's that, I got that one. Then I saw that she was selling Contre Moy. And I said, oh, she's selling Contre Moy too. So what I did was I contacted her and I got Contre Moy. Now, here's what happened with this one here. I think I also spent um, 160 for this. She gave it to me for, I think, 160 if I'm not mistaken. But when I got this one, it looked like the cap was wasn't tightened and what happened was it spilled all in you see all in the um the canister and you see on the top and everything so it's messed up but that's okay I don't really care and then what happened was the top so let me show you because this is the magnetic top the gold part of the magnetic top had came off so what I did was I asked uh, Sunny if she can give me one. So she told me to bring back the one that was damaged and she'll give me one. So I got another cap here. So this is Contre Moy and I got it, you know, at a reasonable price. Now what they're doing, when you buy one, you could get it engraved, you know? So that's kind of cool, you know? Um, and then I got that uh, perfume holder, the case for it. So I said, you know what, let me just buy you know, a few and put out. I gave my father the turbulence, so he has the turbulence or uh, whatever. So I have these two and then I have the travel case or whatever. Okay. Then um, I went on Off Saks, Off uh, Saks, Off Fifth website and they had Mark Jacobs Daisy Dreams and I got this and this is what you get in it. So let me just open it and show you. Um, I have so many perfumes. Um, but this was a good price. This was $59. So I couldn't I couldn't pass this up. You know? Um, so let me just show you. Let me show you what I got. If I can get it off. <laughs> so yeah. So also I wanted to just you know, chit chat with you. So here's Daisy Dreams. And I got it off of Saks, off Fifth website. So I think you get, let's see what this is. This is a, I think this is a, let's see, 1.7 ounce, which this is kind of big for 1.7 ounce to me. This is a 1.7 ounce. And then you get the two, um, I think these are roll-ons. I don't think these are, are sprays. Let me see. Can I get this off? It won't come off. Oh, this one will. So let me show you. Yeah, these are roll-ons. You know, travel roll-ons. This smells really good. Oh, let me tell you something. Marc Jacobs make the best perfume. I Okay, Louis Vuitton, fine, but... Mark Jacobs, oh my God, his perfumes are just amazing. Just amazing. So I got this here. So what I wanted to just touch base with you was that I was looking at the Louis Vuitton men's collection. And honestly, I was really feeling Kim um, Kim's collection, you know? I don't know what you guys think, but I was feeling it. It was really good. Only thing I didn't like, and I know you guys are going to say, Kim, stop it. 
But the only thing I didn't like was the fact that um, he had like alligator skin bags. I'm not really feeling that. I'm just not. So right there was a no-no for me. <laughs> right there was a no-no. I wasn't feeling that at all. At all. And maybe it's just me, but I just wasn't feeling that at all. That was something I wasn't feeling. So, and he only had a few. He didn't have a lot. He had a few, but I, but the few just made me, just, you know, just made me, yeah, whatever, you know? So, yeah, so it was, it was a, re, it was a really nice, um, what do you call it? Fashion show. Okay, so the last item I want to show you. It's an item that I've been waiting for. I got it. Sunny came through. Hey, Sunny. She came through for me. So, you know, this is the Koi Bandeau Blue. And this is like white, light blue, and light pink. Okay. And this is the one that's really difficult to find. And I got it. And this is the full Bandeau. This is not the BB. And then on the opposite side is Louis Vuitton with, um, it has the motif or the monogram in a very light pink, very light pink. Okay. And it has Louis Vuitton right here. And this is it here. Okay. And this is the Koi. Okay. So, and I think that's it for right now. So I want everyone to enjoy your weekend and be safe and until next time okay oh you guys can follow me on instagram at winfire 69k you can follow me there and i'll talk to you soon okay take care now bye